You're listening to Daily Manna Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Got the girls joining me here today. Got the beautiful Maddie, the beautiful Mia um, joining me. Pretty excited, right? The title of today's devotion is A Thousand Things. Make sure if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. You can also hit the thumbs up. You can comment if you want to. You can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you have something personal to talk about or a prayer request or anything like that. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Anything else? Let's jump over into the devotion. You want to click it over there? And a thousand things. Hmm? Yep. Talk loud. A thousand things. Scripture. Can you find out the deep things of God? You can find out the limit of the Al Almighty. It is higher than heaven. Job 11.7. Job 11.7. Oh. But it looks like Job, doesn't it? Yeah. Years ago, I heard Pastor John Piper make a statement that resonated deeply in my heart. I've shared it countless times since. In every situation and circumstance of your life, God is always doing a thousand different things that you cannot see and you do not know. Just in case you flew by that sentence too quickly, go back and read it again. Let the eternal perspective of this statement become permanently etched into your thinking. Don't pull Maddie's hair. I repeated no, no. this line recently while talking with a mom whose daughter has chosen a prodigal, prodigal lifestyle. Style. Looking back at my th through at me through tears at me through tears, even has her face showed visible signs of hope and relief. She said, "I know that quote." hanging in my home where I can look at it all the time. It's a truth we all need hanging in our hearts. Re regardless of what crisis or complexity may be threaten threatening. threatening to engulf your life, God is at work. You may not see it, but you need to know it's true. And he's not just going doing one or two or a few things in that situation he's doing a thousand more he's doing a thousand or more things although at times he may allow us to see some of his purposes enabling us to say oh that makes sense the vast majority of what he's doing behind the scenes providentially obscured from our finite view you will never be able to fully fathom what God is doing in your life. You cannot possibly see the end or the outcome of each situation. Not yet anyway, but you can be sure that he knows what he's doing. He is God and he is working. Purposefully, skillfully, and lovingly. And one day when you look back on the journey from heaven's perspective, you will see his hand in all those inexplicable circumstances. And you will say with wonder and worship, you have done all things well. Count on it. How might your attitude toward a naughty Not probably me. problem be different if you were convinced he was carefully overseeing every step and detail along the way and doing countless things to glorify himself through that situation? This devotion comes out of the quiet place, daily devotional by Nancy D. Moss Walgamuth. <laughs> I don't know what that name is either, but it sounds good to me. So the, the point of this devotion, Maddie, what do you think the point is? I think it's saying that it's just telling you that, that even though you can't see what God's doing, he's doing a thousand things. And, and what it's referring to is that what I like to call ripples of every little thing and how perspective um, as a Christian, we can't really get the perspective we need to understand God's vision for our lives or God's path for us or any of that because we don't have the perspective he has where he can view everything and all the little ripples that are happening from each decision and each choice and everything that is done. Um, we can't see all those ripples. And those are the thousands of things that God is doing, you know, uh, that affect us. So we can't understand what his plan is or his perspective 
Um, but he's doing all these little things all over that will affect us in some way and everything will work out for the best. So God's doing a million little things or a thousand as this devotion says, but it's probably closer to millions that we cannot see or know uh, to take care of us. So that's kind of the, that's the, what the devotion is talking about. A thousand things. Thanks for listening. Have a great day as always. God bless. And God bless.